From time to time on this show, we like to set aside a couple of minutes to discuss the many apologetics used in defense of theism. So, Heath, what egregious insult to reason do you have for us today? Today, in response to an email from Adam, we'll be discussing the claim that Christianity isn't a religion, it's a relationship. Okay, well, this sounds intriguing. So where does that one come from? The recognition that atheists already won the is religion a good thing or a bad thing argument. Uh huh. It's the theological equivalent of all those rats meeting at the stern of the Titanic for a send off party. Gotcha. All right, so how is this one uh, formally stated? It isn't, because people that present this argument don't do formal logicking. Oh, okay. Well, um, if a person that did use formal logic were to formally state it, what would they say? <laughs> I guess um, premise A there's a lot of religions. Premise B. All the people who follow religions think theirs is the right one. Conclusion, we need to call our thing something else. That doesn't sound like an argument. No, no it it's doesn't. It's more like desperate philosophical flailing if I had a point. Oh, good, yeah. Title. So then I, I nailed the syllogism. Oh, Perfect. okay. That's what you were going for. Good. Um, so what kind of idiot would advocate for this position? Uh, Bill O'Reilly, good example. Really? Yeah. Not only does he use it, but he claims that this redefinition of Christianity absolves it from all constitutional prohibitions, since there's no clause forbidding the government from establishing a relationship. Oh, really? Very clever. Well, there's also no clause guaranteeing the free exercise of a relationship, is there? <laughs> yeah, in those cases, though, it becomes a religion again. Well, there's also no tax exemptions for relationships. Yeah, it, it's a religion in those cases, too. Okay, so in what cases is it not a religion? Disadvantageous ones. I see, such as? Uh, for example, when you want to endorse a political candidate, or mm -hmm. when you're trying to argue against undeniable proof that the harms of religion dwarf the dubious list of benefits. All right, now, this is something I don't say often, but I find it hard to believe that even evangelical Protestants can make the mental leaps required to take this seriously. Then you underestimate evangelical Protestants, and that is remarkably hard to do, so <laughs> congrats on that. Thanks. 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 All right, so how do they get there? Well, basically, they root through their religious doctrine until they find the one thing about their faith that's slightly different from all the other faiths. Then they redefine religion in such a way that excludes any faiths that differ in that way. I'm, I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> that's only because your brain refuses to believe it's actually that stupid. It, and it is. So think less. Pop okay, I'll, I'll try. But in the meantime, maybe you could help me with, a, uh, with an analogy or something. All right, so... Let's say I don't want to pay taxes. You and don't want to pay taxes. You didn't actually have to say it. I, I'm just well, well, no, I know. I just mean it's, it's easy. Never mind. Go ahead. All right. So let's say, hypothetically, not actually, let's say rhetorically, I don't want to pay taxes. Uh -huh. I look at the tax codes, and I notice a loophole that says only humans have to pay taxes. So I tell the IRS that I'm not a human because no human would beat off to the shit that I do. I, I would I would beat off to it. <laughs> That's not the point. It's well, I, I know, I know. It's an analogy. No, I know. I was just... Be because you asked for an analogy. Right. I, just... I was just saying that. I mean, I would beat off to some some pretty fucked up stuff. <laughs> so, I was just making an example and went for masturbation joke at the end because that's like kind of our thing. I actually beat off to pretty normal stuff. I mean, you know, just your, your typical fair Asian lesbians, Mexicans with cleft palates. Nothing kinky. Is there? I was just using a concept you're more familiar with. with no, the, I, I the know. I, 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 I get it. I just, you know, I, I, I didn't want you to feel alone when you masturbated. Wait, you what? I, I'm, I'm making it worse, not better. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to the apologetic <laughs> thing, if you don't mind. Gladly. So the claim here is that religions teach their adherents how to sanctify themselves before a god or a group of gods. But according to Christian theology, you're already sanctified. And? What do you mean, and? That's, that's the whole thing. You're, the, the, the whole stupid. what? The whole argument. That's not an argument. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. An argument is a connected series of statements intended to establish a proposition. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Look, almost all of Christian argumentation boils down to an attempt to play around with the edges of a word's definition. All of their arguments about faith, their arguments about evolution being a theory... Arguments about atheism being dogmatic as well. Arguments about Christian persecution. If you discard all the Christian arguments that rely on a wanton misunderstanding of the dictionary, 
you basically have to discard all Christian arguments. Well, I do discard all Christian arguments. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Because discarding them would mean not asking me about them, and you just asked me about this one. Okay, fair point. Okay, so how does one counter the argument from what, whatever the fuck this nonsense is called? Well, we've actually alluded to it several times in the segment already. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we... Uh, oh, are you suggesting that we just, when they say Christianity isn't a religion, we just do the yes it is, no it isn't thing? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm suggesting you just tell them to go fuck off and then watch some Monty Python. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, good call. Good call. 